Hello friends, I'm back with a few lines just written and I hope you you like these. Uh, we're all going through um, fairly very difficult times and whether it was it was COVID or or other variants or what we see today the war is as it's called and the misery that is spread because of it all around and so a um, few lines and the title of this one is in the pursuit of happiness well, we all seem to think that, uh, you know, we need to stay happy, be happy, as if happiness was something that uh, you could find in, in the cupboard or, or under the pillow or, or something in the memory. Well, I thought a few lines of this might, uh, might be interesting, so uh, here goes, in the pursuit of happiness. Dark clouds have silver linings. How else would mundane turn scenic? <clears throat> Apologies. Dark clouds have silver linings. How else would mundane turn scenic? In the unsaid pursuit of happiness lies the wherewithal of its success. Dark clouds of silver linings. How else would mundane turn scenic? In the unsaid pursuit of happiness lies the wherewithal of its success. Thorns too have value, even their pricks, if you like. Thorns too have value, even their pricks, if you like. Nice to have a thorn by your side. In peace and comfort, then, you reside. A blot on your resume may not be bad after all, for it might keep you on your toes, wary of the lurking foes. No extractions, no constraints, no coercion, no, no compulsion. No extractions, no constraints, no coercion, no, no compulsion. In the relentless pursuit of happiness, there is no place for force and duress. Happiness lies within, not without, in the beauty of your glittering smile. Happiness lies within, not without, in the beauty of your glittering smile, in the silence of the whirling mind, in each little thing that you find. Happiness lies within, not without, in the beauty of your glittering smile, in the silence of the whirling mind, in each little thing that you find. In the stillness of the unmoving leaf, in the restraint that lies within. In the stillness of the unmoving leaf, in the restraint that lies within. In the power that we ourselves exercise, in resplendent shining eyes. In the frenzied pursuit of happiness, we're oblivious of its million sources. In the frenzied pursuit of happiness, we're oblivious of its million sources. In the razzle-dazzle around us, the joys, for instance, of the Tonga and the bus. Tonga, friends, uh, for those who may not be familiar with this word, was, uh, was a horse carriage. Uh, we still see some around in some parts of the world, but it used to be the most popular and the most economical form of transport. Yes. 
In the little things that matter, friends, in the pursuit of happiness, in the little, it's the little things that matter, friends, in the pursuit of happiness, the importance of means and ends, anyhow, somehow, however achieved, is not happiness, but you, by your ego, well deceived. It's the little things that matter, friends, in the pursuit of happiness, the importance of means and ends. Anyhow, somehow, however achieved, is not happiness, but you, by your ego, well deceived. Happiness must never a target be Happiness must never a target be, a gala to attend, an ovation to receive, or an Oscar to win. Happiness must never a target be, a gala to attend, an ovation to receive. It's just the simple, plain, living things. It's just the simple, plain, living thing. Not a nightingale, never mind, just sing. Happiness must never a target be, a gala to attend, an ovation to receive. It's just a simple, plain, living things. Not a nightingale, never mind, just sing. Happiness lies within, not without, in the beauty of your glittering smile, in the silence of the whirling mind, in each little thing that you find. Happiness must never a target be. Thank you, friends. I hope you liked it, and till we meet again, stay well. Stay happy and goodbye.